YouTube. Guess what? It's Friday, and I have not even opened up the Rootables from Idaho. I got all kinds of stuff in this bag. You're not gonna believe it. Hey, if you're into it, stick around. Bam, and let's do this. everybody boom here we go I'm gonna set this bag over the side here and <clears throat> get out of the way and uh, let the games begin all right so the first thing is this bag itself I picked it up for a buck and I'm glad I did because I would have never got this stuff home and uh, it was it was quite a feat let me just tell you so let me pull a few things out here and get them ready for you and we'll go from there i got this bag wrapped up this bundle of stuff here wrapped up in a blanket get this out of the, out of the way here and then what else do we have in here <clears throat> Oh yeah, I had this garbage can in the bottom, so it didn't bust through. Oh, that thing's cracked too, so it, it did take a hit. Okay, let's get this off the side. I don't want to show you this shit quite yet. That'll be that'll be at the end. And I think that's it. All right, let me set this off to the side. Let's rock and roll. All right, first up, let's untie this bundle here and rescue this blanket this blanket i i didn't want to roll this stuff up like this because this is a world war one wool blanket and uh but i needed i needed the support i didn't want that stuff rattling around in that bag and attack attaching any or uh, attracting any attention uh, because you're fixing to see what I got in here. Oh, there's a piece of it. All right. It's out of the way. There we go. Okay. Let's unfold this. Hope I didn't do any damage to this blanket. It's So far, it's looking good. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have totally forgotten what we picked up here. Um, I do remember a few things, but we hit a a yard sale, the last sale of the day, and uh, it was for the most part just about ready to close, and um, we hit it just right. Whew, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this bike on. Let's see if that's cozy. That is a cozy blanket. Yeah, I like that. That blanket. I love that blanket. Okay, here we go. So, you probably saw the yard sale uh, that I went to that was all military. I picked up this World War I uh, entrenchment tool. Uh, stay tuned uh, for a cleanup of this baby. I love this tool. Um, I wanted to point out something kind of interesting. Um, everyone that I've seen is stamped US right here. However, look at this one. This one actually, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's uh, sideways. It's actually, it's actually um, US is not square. It's actually uh, printed off to the side. Well, when I do the cleanup, I'll show that, I'll point that out to you. But this is such a cool little shovel. I mean, the stories that this thing could t uh, tell, I, it, just, it just blows my mind. So stay tuned for the cleanup of this. I'm going to try to do some research on it and, uh, and you know, uh, get some information about it. Because uh, I really don't know much about it other than, other than that it's old. I'm going to get that out of the way. This is a fishing uh, buzzer. So this is... Your, your rod would go in here this goes into the ground 
and when the when the fish pulls your rod down this is actually going to close the contact and it's going to buzz right here i'm going to crack this open real quick and see what it looks like uh it was a buck so i just grabbed it oh let me see let me see if i can just do it right now okay so it does have a rotten battery in it let me see what kind of damage what kind of uh you know not too bad not too bad at all i think i can work with that uh, so stay tuned on that because that'll be really fun to get this lubed up and uh, a fresh battery in it and test it. So again, it's a, a fishing uh, rod holder with a buzzer on it. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Got a really nice uh, folding saw. And check this one out. This one's a Valley Saw San Jose, California. So you've seen, uh, you've seen me do restorations of these wooden saws before. This is a really nice one. Look at that baby. Uh, these make really, really good bushcrafting saws. So uh, stay tuned. I don't see any markings on the blade, but I think it's really cool that it says Valley Saw San Jose, California. Very neat. Definite, definite uh, future restoration. Right at the last minute, picked up a second restoration tool or uh, entrenchment tool. The handle looks great. Uh, the pivot is good get this on here looks like someone's been shoveling some concrete with it um, oh it says us us right here ames ames 1946 boom what do you think of that all right switch gears on you a little bit you see past this uh this mess this i picked up i actually paid probably too much for this but you've got a Ryan angled uh, screwdriver on there or uh, and then down here you've got a knob and uh, I'm told that maybe this would be for like getting down in a, on an older car and turning like the vacuum uh, chamber or look at the look at the gears I don't know if you can see the gears in there turning but there, there you get some very, very, very precise uh, tool. Uh, very specialty tool. Probably going to have to take this to eBay. It's called Borrows, B-O-R-R-O-U-G-H-S, USA. It's got a little tiny chip out of it, but uh, this someone might, someone might really want this for their uh, automotive collection. Uh, let's see. I'll get back to this. This, I know, will bring good money. This is a, I think it's a Nico Press. Marshall Brass Company, Michigan. Um, maintain control while uh, while crimping. These crimpers I've done really well with. Um, what does it say here? Oh, it's got it's got some directions on it. And we'll see. I think this might might this actually could bring a hundred dollar bill or eighty bucks. We'll see. And uh, I picked up a junior one. I think this is a Nico press, but this one's vintage. This one is, oh, this is actually a Nico press tool. Um, 31 DJ. 31 DJ is the part number. It's a two crimp. It's got really good action. It'll clean up real nice. Uh, again, probably 40, 50 bucks. Put that off to the side. Uh, check this out. Dave, old uh, uh, grumpy concrete guy, probably will like this. Look at the look how much use this trowel has gotten, and look at the handle on it. It's beautiful. The handle is just gorgeous, and this thing has just literally been worn down. Look at that, down to nothing. I got that just to actually shelf that baby. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Cody picked these out for me. A real nice, clean, tight uh, set of uh, shears, sheet metal shears. Uh, just uh, in stunning condition. No gaps. No no uh, no damage whatsoever. This is a really old knife. Look at this baby. Look at the handle on that thing. Okay, I'm gonna do a uh, do a video on this because I'm curious uh, about what you guys think about me reprofiling re this knife. I'm actually thinking about taking this this handle and moving it up up to here 
right? So the blade would look like that. And then this would be the handle. What do you think? Anyway, future video. I also got this old uh, Western where it's all falling apart. And I was thinking about maybe taking this brass. Uh, this comes right off right here. And maybe trying to incorporate this with this knife. What do you think? We'll see. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Three remarkable, remarkable hammers. First, a homemade job. This is hand. This is a big, solid piece of brass. Someone's uh, handmade this. You can see the, the the brazing on here. It's got really good feeling. Really good tap it. That definitely picked that up. But look at this one. Look how gorgeous this. Look at this hammer. Look at the handle on this thing. And look at the shape of the head. It is absolutely stunning. You can, I don't know if you can see the top of it. And it's it's narrow. It's just beautiful, beautiful. I don't see any markings on this. Oh, maybe, maybe. But uh, this is definitely going to go into the collection. This is a keeper, absolute keeper. That's going to go on there. And then here's another brass hammer. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Isn't that gorgeous? This one, the handle, it's a little bit loose, but it actually has a hex head on the top. And it's heavy. It's a very, very nice blunt hammer. Keep that together. Man, I picked this pit little picaroon up. You might have seen me uh, eyeballing this one at that military sale, but I picked this baby up. What do you think of that? Is that just gorgeous? Look at the patina on this. No way this paint's coming off. This is going to get oiled up. Super easy cleanup. Future video. Uh, definitely going to go in the collection. I love it. Next up, we got ourselves a, a really nice canteen. What's it say here? 1942 Simcoe. But uh, what I wanted to look at is the cup. Do we have any markings on this cup? No, I don't see anything. No. And that's probably why he uh, had this in the uh, in the cell pile. But I'm really happy, really happy with the uh, with the canteen and uh, real nice cover. So that's definitely going to go in the canteen collection. What else do we got here? I think this is a bunch of small. Let's just dump them in here. A bunch of little interesting things here. Um, this is a kitchen tool that I need to put together real quick. These are, I'll be right back. I'm going to put this together and I'll show you. All right. Well, thank goodness for movie magic. I just, I just straight up uh, went into a full-on restoration of this tool. Uh, I don't know what this tool does. Um, wait a minute, maybe I do. Maybe you loosen it, and it, it looks like it's it has dual purpose. So you turn it up like this, and it looks like maybe a tenderizer for mashing. Um, and then you can loosen it back up. And uh, what do we have here? Then you can cut with it. You can actually turn it like a hatchet almost. Look at that. Look at that. Kind of like a, kind of like a hatchet for chopping and mashing. And uh, okay, I can turn the middle part too. Well, I think you get it. I don't know what. Uh, oh, it has a, a a stamp on it but I can't really quite make it out. But boy, this thing's cool. It was a buck. I had to have it. Sorry, uh, I got, got sidetracked on that, guys. I, I, I apologize. Um, some really cool uh, clips. So heavy duty clips with a hook. I don't know if you see that. I've got one, two, three, four, six of them. That's a nice little score. I got this little little tiny railroad spike. Uh, oh, Cody uh, picked this for me. He found this. One level, it's an A and P coffee service. It's a coffee scoop. Old timer, too. 
hey Cody, you should have kept that for yourself, man. Um, and then uh, these, this is a whole socket set. And I picked this up early. Uh, this it's got a it's got like a clover on it, and it's a uh, it's made by Fleet. I've never even heard of this uh, tool manufacturer. Uh, Fleet made in USA, 1632, and it looks like I've got the whole set plus uh, an extension. And um, I do have the ratchet. It's in a, it's in another it's in another box here. So let's keep moving. Cody uh, picked up this little uh, Swiss Army knife for me. Look at that. It's an old timer. Look at that blade. It's a chubby blade. I love that. Let's see what else we got here. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Oh, yeah! Greg! Okay. I'm not going to show you what's in here because this is, a, this is a, uh, a video. But my buddy Greg in Idaho... Uh, he, he got this for me and we're going to do a video on that. So that's what, that's going to be, uh, uh, we're going to do that later. Look at this, look at this beautiful, beautiful little, uh, goodie here. And it's old. This is not a decorative either. This is an old timer. This is a, like a little buggy lamp. Look at that cool thing. It's got a little brass three point on the back. Um, uh, uh lead glass uh sides i don't know what do you think isn't that cool let's see if we can do something with that that'll be a fun project set that off to the side okay heather heather got me a a, a lantern hanger just like rob what do you think rob brand new in the box lantern hanger uh, Cullihan's 8971, brand new in the box, 1988. Thank you, Heather. I don't have one of these. Uh, I'm going to put this with the uh, boat lantern hanger that I got from Rob Hall. And uh, definitely uh, keepers. Both of them are permanent, uh, permanent uh, in my collection. All right. What else do we got in here? Get this out of the way. Okay, this is this is a World War One uh, cook kit. This goes with this backpack that I picked up that I'm going to show you later. It's going to be in a different video. Okay, this I'm told is a muzzle cover uh, for like a cannon of, or some sort of a uh, uh, ballistic uh, device, and that this this would keep the dust out of the cannon. Uh, I think this is going to end up being a stove case or something along that line. Got another. Oh, let's get this out of the way. This is a really nice palm sander. It's made in Los Angeles. It is by Astro. Uh, getting down to the bottom here. I think that's. I think this is about it, folks. A couple smalls. Oh, good. I did pick that up. So it's a Dremel, a pneumatic Dremel. And it's a it's a USA uh, job. I forget what the uh, what the brand is, but it's it's not a China. It's got a really nice chuck. This will actually take a, a larger wheel or grinding wheel or uh, grinding stone. So I'll, I'll, I'll get that going. Here's a, a interesting set of pliers. Look at the bit on that. See the crimp there? They don't come quite. They don't come uh, close together. This I got to look this up. KC, KC18 by Diamond. Oh, and it's got a horseshoe on it. So I wonder if this has to do with a uh, farrier, uh, like a farrier tool made in USA. And then here is that uh, ratchet for the fleet. It's beautiful. That thing is a stunner. That, that, that thing just feels so good in your hands. That's a nice piece. Uh, nice little uh, made in USA. Craftsman set of needle nose uh, vice grip, and I think that's it, everybody. Uh, I'm going to show you what I picked up here. Uh, it's a World War One uh, haversack, and uh, I'm going to do a special video on that because I've got some questions for you, and I'm hoping there's somebody out there, a history buff or a war uh, 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 a war collector. I would love to find out some more information about this haversack. So anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you for putting up with me. 
I feel like I've been gone for a long time. I've been traveling for the, like the last couple weeks and just completely slammed with work. I miss everybody. I've been trying to keep up with everybody's uh, doings and goings, and uh, it's been it's been really hard. So I have caught uh, caught up with a lot of you, and uh, boy, you guys have been busy. So have a great weekend. Uh, uh, congratulations on making it to another Friday. I've got a big weekend planned. Guess what? It's the last weekend of the month. And what is that? Flea market weekend. So stay tuned. I'm going to have all kinds of exciting stuff going on in the next couple days. Please come back. And until next time, I'll see you around.